you're going up the, the ski lift here, there's so much glitter underneath. <laughs> much better at night. Uh, I, did, I did have a quick skim of some footage from the other night that was uh, rather noisy. But you could see something, whereas the old one was just like way too contrasted. I think the, the Protune flat helps a little bit too. Um, but this should be pretty good. Got some pretty decent lights above me. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to like a little recap of today. Um, skiing on Blue Mountain. First time I've been to Blue Mountain. Uh, I said mountain, like, I think Pennsylvanians do that. I, mean, I started noticing Pennsylvania accents, I think because Bernie helps me a bit with that at work. Anyway, uh, do 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 do. There's the mountains up in the background. There's some pretty good clouds too. I'm sure if they'll come up there. Moon is above me. Anyway, distractions. Uh, so Blue Mountain, the, a lot of it is man-made snow at this point, um, but it's kind of like large, icy, crystal things and it's kind of like it's almost like if you had like little styrofoam balls but they were made of ice 
so they're kind of really loose and not sticky or anything so it's not too bad to fall in and all that sort of stuff um, yeah and it was just great I know it's been really man it was really awesome I uh, went pond skimming at the end the sad thing about that is uh, I need to bring like a, a I need an assistant or a personal assistant or a videographer assistant or something I need someone to be Siamese twinned to me that can control cameras and stuff or that will probably be the air dog I know I was talking about humans but robots could be good too the air dog I think could be that but that could be difficult with the pond skimming thing like it would have been really sweet to follow me down the hill that would have just been the most coolest shot so next year when I go pond skimming I'll bring the air dog because um, I don't have it yet uh, and yeah so like a friend of a friend was recording and then they're at the top of the mountain they're like I said my name is my number is 687 and my name is Derek and he said Gary and then he, I was like no Derek he said Gareth and then he kept relaying the wrong name over the radio so the person in the bottom said something like Gary or Gareth or Garen or something and so my friend of a friend didn't know I was coming down and then the GoPro was like off because it turns off automatically so he was going to turn it on and he went to record by the time he uh, he didn't think anything recorded and there is no file at all so anyway I got my friends pond skimming so you get the idea of it uh, I made it across, I don't know, did I mention that yet? I made it across, which was cool. Uh, they were telling you, I'll, I'll give you some insider secrets here. Uh, you lean back, whether you're on a snowboard or skis, um, and on snowboards apparently like leaning back is, you don't have as much control, so it's maybe a little counterintuitive. Um, you lean back, you don't get distracted by the host guy down the bottom throwing t-shirts and crap at you, and you go really fast. And I'm, I'm pretty good with going fast down a ski mountain and stuff, but every now and then I want to, what they call, check yourself. Which some people were doing towards the bottom, they would check themselves, which means they slow down a bit. Like go side to side, but you need, you just, all you really need is speed and lean back and you're good. I made it across nicely, like my boots went in, the ski boots, so... Um, they were a little bit wet on the inside and my socks were a little bit wet, but other than that it was good. It was great. Whereas Sarah and Emily, oh man, oh, stackage, stackage greatness. It was really entertaining. Um, really enjoyed that, came back, went to restorative yoga. Oh, made it back just in time for restorative. Was falling asleep left, right, and center in restorative. It was fantastic. Uh, I was up pretty early this morning. I don't remember if I made a video before I left for pond skimming. I don't think I did. It's up early, had breakfast, was good. Uh, yeah, restorative was great. Went back and uploaded some videos so that they sync with my Vidlar account because I'm trying to sync YouTube and Vidlar um, so they all have the same stuff so that people that watch one or the other can... Now there's like this vessel thing which apparently some YouTubers are using to show their videos before they're on YouTube so it's kind of what I did with Vidlar back in the day and what I still do, I usually put stuff on Vidlar first and then when I get around to it do the YouTube thing um, but I've made I think I said in a previous video I made like seven cents on YouTube so let's get another cent I suppose uh, I'm gonna have to cross the road here um, anyway that's it uh, the 29th 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 of March 2015 uh, I am in Bethlehem just in case you never know where I am. Okay, peace. Alrighty. Um, I just spat, but it's happening again. Um, I just put together the vlog, the, the, the first one in this reoccurring state of vlogs for the 28th of March. And it's, it's going to take 3 hours and 41 minutes to render, um, or to encode, yeah. Because it's 4K, and editing 4K on a MacBook Air is possible, but you're not going to get frame for frame. Um, uh, I mean, you can go frame by frame, but you're not going to get to watch it in real time well. Um, but it took about three hours to edit together because I just went, you know, shoved a bunch of titles on similar to what Casey does 
PC nice stat and I was watching the vlog I'm like I thought I kept referring to Casey my friend Casey here uh, yeah so just wanted to I'm gonna have to work out that workflow I did in Premiere because I was gonna consider doing it in ScreenFlow because I really like ScreenFlow as a replacement for iMovie 6 or iMovie HD very very simple and clean but this size of the project becomes as large as the final product whereas Premiere is all just like pointing to where the files are instead of becoming a bloated project kind of thing. So I thought I'd just do Premiere, just, I'm familiar with it and easy to cut stuff together and then I, because I can, I motion tracked stuff and yeah. Um, so I'm gonna have to work out, I don't know what people like, I see Chris Perillo's vlogs and I'm like, oh, there must be so much footage and how do you get to cut through all of that quickly? That I cut out some big chunks of video, um, which I was pretty proud of. Still 11 minutes. Um, I'll get that down, but yeah, just thought I'd mention here that it's taken a while. <laughs> That was nice. I can't believe See. you're still standing there in your wet outfit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel warm. I think because my body's numb. Really? Yeah, I bet. You took a good fall. I like hey. literally flipped over. I can't wait to Hey, I just told him. <laughs> what question? Huh? What do I push? Uh, so top one.